doing everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hey what's up i'm kayla corn i'm so glad to have you guys here make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can join the unicorn family and give this video a thumbs up before you leave so in today's video i'm going to be talking all about my weight loss journey i'm going to update you guys on how much i weigh now um how's it going what am i doing all that jazz so keep on watching if you're here for weight loss so as you guys know september 2018 i had my gastric bypass surgery it's been a little over a year if you guys watch my one year celebration video then you guys know that i was in a bit of a weight loss stall i wasn't losing weight and i was just kind of doing what i wanted i was drinking i was eating whatever i wanted which, I mean, obviously is why I had a weight loss stall. But um, as of now, things have definitely changed. If you guys have been following me from the start, you guys have seen everything from me struggling with hair loss, me struggling with my loose skin, which, I mean, I still struggle with that. And I just wanted to kind of get, you know, personal with you guys and talk to you guys and just be comfortable and open up about how everything's going now. So I think I'm finally in a spot where I am almost to my goal and um that doesn't mean that my fitness journey ends here it doesn't mean that it's over or anything like that i definitely um made this choice for a lifelong commitment and will always be focusing on my fitness and health because i want to be as healthy as i can be um however so i told you guys i had a weight loss stall up around September of this year because it was like my one year um, I was only 221 so I hadn't lost much weight from when I hit Wonderland which is losing 100 pounds and because it was my one year post-op I did have to visit my surgeon and you know get a checkup and get my labs done do all that stuff and I did go visit my surgeon and he was just kind of like hey what's going on you know you're like stalling and um, I would like to see your numbers a little bit lower than what you are like basically telling me you know i'm a huge messed up i'm not gonna cuss but um just basically telling me that i'm messing up and it was kind of hard to hear it was kind of like a wake-up call like kind of like hey kayla get your shit together you know like i started this journey to be successful and to inspire others to keep going and i don't know what happened really i think i kind of um I think I talked to you guys once about my mental health and about like depression and all that stuff that I was going through and I think definitely uh, this last year has been really rough and I've been struggling with depression probably more than ever and it's not anything specific it's kind of just like anything you know like I could have everything in the world and be content but still be depressed and i don't know why i think it's just you know that's just how my brain works and it's a mental problem <laughs> obviously i was a, like binge drinking there for a while and binge eating and not really taking care of myself but i went and seen my surgeon for my one year post-op and like i said it was a you know a huge wake-up call and he prescribed me something called fentramine and fentramine is basically a appetite suppressant so it will kind of mask those cravings that you have of like snacking and stuff like that which was my biggest problem there for a while was that i was snacking like crazy i have got prescribed a month's worth of fentramine and i am currently on fentramine however fentramine is how many times i'm going to say fentramine in this video but however fentramine was um is a crazy type of medication i'm not a big fan of taking medications at all i'm kind of just like a you know if i have a headache i'll just kind of drink more water or you know like just kind of do other things and come back to medication so i wasn't really like open but not opposed because you know my surgeon said that it would help so I'm willing to do anything, you know, to be as healthy as possible. And so I'm taking fentramine, and the first day was really rough. The second day, it got better. A week later, you know, it, I don't feel like a crackhead anymore because I definitely think the first week was really rough. Like, it kind of made me feel, like, super energized. Like, I had five Red Bulls and, like, two coffees and was ready to go, you know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so now it's not so intense. Like, it kind of just 
wears off and um it definitely helps me stay motivated to like work out and also when it comes to working out my surgeon did say like i have to do an hour of cardio four days a week and no weightlifting. <laughs> and so when it comes to no weightlifting i'm like mm, you know like i really liked lifting weights i suck at it but i felt like i was getting more tone my ass was looking good like my arms were kind of not getting saggy but i want to burn as much fat as possible so i get why cardio is so important I hate it though I hate cardio I mean I used to love cardio when it was like willingly now I have to do it four days a week and for an hour straight like sometimes I would only go to the gym for 30 minutes and now I'm there probably like almost two hours and it's crazy but the medication my doctor have pres has prescribed to me it has been helping um, within the first week I lost 10 pounds so I was down to 212 and then I think I am on my second and a half week of Fentramine and I am down to 207. So this is definitely the lowest I've ever been in my life. And I literally think it's because I'm not eating like crazy and I'm working out like crazy. So um, I'm almost under 200 pounds and that's where I want to be. My goal weight throughout this whole journey is like 185 but I will be happy as long as I get under 200 and I will feel like amazing <laughs> so I'm almost there and I I know I can do it and um you guys have definitely helped me like on Instagram I post a lot about like what I'm going through and like I posted about Fentramine when I first got it and um if it wasn't for you guys, I, like, I don't know what I would do. So I'm just so thankful that I have you guys to lean on and be there for me when I'm going through this journey that can be kind of crazy. I'm not going to ramble too much more, but I just wanted to tell you guys that that's where I'm at with my weight loss journey. I am 207 and dropping, so that's good. I definitely feel see it in my clothes i wear a size 14 now and pants and a large is getting too big for me when it comes to shirts so that's exciting i don't know where to shop anymore but i'm kind of you know searching and it's crazy honestly i'm still like in denial and i feel like i'm still 336 pounds and fat you know i just feel not different in my head but on the outside I'm definitely seeing it more and it's crazy this huge change like I don't know if I was necessarily ready for it but here I am and I've kind of become like a person that people can lean on when they're trying to lose weight and it's crazy like I've went viral on TikTok like three times now for my weight loss and the amount of love and support I get on there is crazy by the way, if you're not following me on TikTok, you should make one or get one and follow me because I post a lot of cool weight loss transition videos on there. Um, but I'm so thankful for this weight loss journey and all the doors that it has opened and for all of you guys who stay here and watch me each week. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and hearing me rant and hearing me ramble and kind of get emotional. I appreciate each and every one of you guys and... I have huge things in store and I hope you guys come back each Sunday to watch and be here with me on this journey. And if you're going through a journey, hit me up because I want to be there for you too. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you, love you, love you so much. Bye guys.